Geological Data Collection Project and Mining Geology Exploration geology focuses on activities that lead to the discovery of a potentially valuable mineral deposit, recognizing that the deposit may develop into a mine. Project geology following discovery focuses on the more detailed evaluation of the mineral deposit up to and including feasibility studies and involves into mining geology which is directed toward the planning and operation of the mine. The most important aspect of the geologist's work is to discover and delineate the mineral deposit and to prepare a detailed definition that describes the deposit's location, size, shape, variability, and grid continuity. Every mineral project or mine is based on a geologic entity and or mineral deposit. A well-defined mineral deposit and its geologic characteristics are the only aspects of a project that cannot be altered. Geologic data and interpretation form the foundation for both mine evaluation and mine production, providing essential information for estimating resources and reserves and for mine planning and process design or control. Proper geologic work requires a keen awareness of and an ability to anticipate the technical requirements of mining engineers, metallurgists, geotechnical engineers, hydrologists, and other technical specialists who all rely on the geologic data. Geologists are integral members of the project evaluation or production team. The ultimate objective of the exploration geologist is to find ore, that of the project geologist is to define the ore, that of the mine geologist is to keep the mine in ore. Project geology sequentially follows exploration after a discovery of potentially economic mineralization has taken place and evaluation and a development proceed. Mining geology begins on commencement of production, though sometimes it has been defined to include project geology. By comparison, project geology combines many elements of both exploration and mining geology through the delineation of mineralization and the estimation of resources and reserves. Additional support provided by geologists to other specialists in mine evaluation and production includes gathering and assessing geologic data and samples for geotechnical analysis, collecting groundwater data for hydrological investigations, defining the ore body and distinguishing ore grades and types for mine planning and production, exploring for additional or bodies and other materials in the district. Collecting samples for metallurgical testing, evaluating geology and ore potential of sites designated for waste dumps, a mill, leach pads, shops, offices, and associated facilities and assisting with land, legal, environmental, and permitting studies. Geologic data collection and recording. Mining is a physical endeavor that extracts some valuable resource from the earth. A good understanding and a clear representation of the shape, size, quality, variability, and limits the geologic characteristics of the resource zone are needed at the evaluation, development, and productive stages of a project. The financial success of the mining venture is directly related to the accuracy and the completeness of the geologic database and the quality and understanding of the characterization that describes a resource zone. General comments. Geologic data vary greatly within a deposit and from deposit to deposit. Data may be collected via surface or underground mapping, 
drilling, geophysical or geochemical surveys, or specific studies examining such uh, features as structure, rock mechanics properties, specific gravity, alteration effect, and distribution or mineralogy. The data may be collected using the long-established pencil and paper-based method of mapping, posting, and compiling. Data collected via this conventional method can be converted to digital electronic from through the use of computer-aided design systems, computer spreadsheets, a geographic information system, and other software in computer-facilitated systems. Required data. Every effort must be made to observe, objectively record, and describe all geologic features that may be of importance in characterizing the size, shape, and variability of the resource and its associated environment under study. Broad categories of data to be collected routinely are location, information, and data on lithology, mineralogy, assay samples, alteration, and structural and raw competency. Geologic data collection key features. For the following categories of data collection, the keys are careful observation and a clear discipline. description. Number one, location data. Sample, map, mine, or drill location should be recorded on each sheet. This may include geographic data such as state, county, section, township, range, latitude, longitude, coordinates, uh, elevation, Mining district, mine, pit bench, level, working claim, claim corner, or any and all information that will clearly identify the unique location of the geologic data points. Number two, lithologic data. Typical data to describe rock sample or unit should include color, texture, mineralogical characteristics, lithology, and a rock type. Subject to generic terms should be avoided unless well established or qualified to distinguish uh, inference from observable facts. Primary sedimentary structure and sedimentologic features, for example, bedding, laminations, casts, soft sediment deformation, graded bedding, burrows, bioturbation, and a fossil content as well as bending foliation and alineation with appropriate attitudes should be noted where possible. Number three, structural data. Scandry structural features that postdate rock formation should be described. Number four, alteration data. Alteration data include nature, mineralogy, intensity, and a distribution of features. Number fifth, mineralization data. This category includes nature, intensity, mineralogy, and the distribution of the desired resource. Number six, coal data. The distribution of sedimentary fascias and a con uh, constructing a depositional model of the coal beds and a coal bearing sequence. Samples. Geologic representation, geologic mapping, core logging, data compilation and interpretation are heavily dependent on visual presentation as geologists think and communicate best in pictures. The basis of almost all geologic work is the making of maps, plans, sections, and the like. The graphical form is the most efficient way of displaying and explaining geological observations and ideas. Table 4.1-1 Common Mapping Samples Lithological Samples These are various lithological samples which you can use during your geological mapping. Table 4.1-1 Common Mapping Samples Geological Samples These are the samples which you can use by mentioning the dip and strike 
and others. Geological samples also, these are some, some uh, different samples which in which you can show in your map, such as the calvage, calvage vertical, calvage horizontal, and so on. Sedimentological samples, these are some samples which you have to show, uh, represent on the, your map, such as lamina, plant parallel, lamina, car parallel and uh, such as the marine fossils, plant fossils, and so on. Thermatological samples, these are also some other samples. Culture samples, surface or underground. For example, world shaft, you have to represent like this. Shaft, flooded cavern, this one. And if you have to mention the pit curry and a dump and so on and so forth. These are also some other samples which you can put on your geological map during your walk. Thank you. Please subscribe, like and share.